<coughs> yes, hello. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use Lightbox 2 on a web your website. Well, if you don't know what Lightbox is, you just go to Google and then Lightbox 2. Here, yeah, the first link, load the shakar. And then click in there. Lightbox is this. It's like a script that makes... If you click on your image, it's gonna show it larger. You can see, like this. It's pretty nice to have on your website. Yes. How we're gonna do is... Um, and we can do this, like a all, uh, like group of image. See? Next. Yes, what we're gonna do is like we scroll down to download, we click it. I have already have it here, but you only have to show it here, open it here. You see, now you got light box here. Let's click it in, and uh, then we're going to uh, here. We just make a new map here. I have just made it new website with lightbox what you want to do is you take all of this and put it in here then we just have to take these two things and uh, just delete them yes I want to delete them now we go to um, open your notepad or your uh, notepad or some web just editing thing you have and here you have the code that you need from the beginning and here at the uh, at the head be between the head and the title you're gonna need to uh, insert the script and let's see here we scroll down to how to use here we take these two scripts here and just copy paste them what this does it uh, like open the script from uh, here script javascript or something and then we also have to open the css here there, you see, and that what this does is it called this CSS from here, and using this pictures in the script, yes, of course. Um, <coughs> when we made this, we are going to copy copy this in. And we've done it. We're going to put in the image like my tree I I've taken from a site. Yeah. And then how to use? And now we're going to use the um, this. We're going to set in the image and uh, yes, we just copy this. And uh, or you can write it by hand so I can explain. Like this: a a ref is then you want to see h here is um, here you're gonna insert your picture that is going to show the big one like you know see the big picture or picture and then we're gonna have the small picture here you see but first before we can uh, like view the image we have to uh, get some image and here I have some image here see 
this is the original image is very big you see and you have to make this big image into a smaller to view you see here it's like you see this is not the big one but if you click it use the big one and how you do that you can just go to uh, paint here and the light uh, C3 control alt I no. what the fuck uh, or just change size somewhere and this is how you just 20 you like I want 300 and yes then you have it then you just save it and shit yes now you have it you just take this and go to the website make a new map called pictures pictures and you insert them there you see here it is and um, here we're just gonna save this now in case here we save this you see this is this this is my HTML HTM or whatever yes and now href the big picture is in pictures and the tree this is the big 3m is for the mini picture so I'm gonna use this and slash pictures because it's the map and slash tree tree dot gp gpeg because it's a you see here it's a gpeg picture there we got it got it and then it says that we have to add Re rel lightbox attribute to link any tag active lightbox well just space rel lightbox and then then we have title uh, trees yes trees and you see this and now where the small picture is we're gonna make this small picture image source is and then we're going to find it slash pic pictures slash tree mini or m jpeg like this this is and then we have to end this uh, this the big image or the link link or something hey you see and we save it and now we're gonna go launch in internet explorer I don't know why but oh fuck I don't crap Launch in Chrome. Why can't? What the fuck? What is this? Or maybe just just take of this and just refresh it. Yes, yes. Uh, you see, you don't need the slash here before the map. Your, your pictures are in and then you see you have the picture here if you click it oh uh, yes you can just change the uh, uh, the size of the bigger image if you want to and stuff and here you see trees it says trees yes trees and then you click it down if, if you want to make a group of image you just have to I will have this down
this is the group of pictures you see yes and here we're gonna like they say if you want to make a group you just have to yes make make him um, take more image we can just go to more CC home just so you can see um, three and uh, just take oh this is nice trees yes the four season yeah yeah uh, save image as save it in pictures right away because you see it three two save it and now you have it and you see your pictures here this is your tree two. You can just open it in paint and hey you gonna control double W or W or something and then you change it I want to three hundred there then you save as save as three two m for me or you can just well name it what you want here we got these two we just make just the same as this you see we take this and the group picture we make like they say it here you see this hard quotes there it is you have to make make it this but without the title you see here you're just gonna delete this and here before the this thingy you're gonna make those and you can name this album or group um, tree with a C you see here and that means that this picture is in this group so but we don't have yes you see and then you just take the take this again and uh, you see here here but our second picture is named tree 2 and the mini picture is named tree 2 m and I'm gonna save it now we're gonna save it and go to this refresh and how and here we got two pictures here and as you can see here this is the arrow and this is the other picture. I don't know why it's white here, but yeah, that's because this is larger. But you can change it in Paint or Photoshop or whatever you want. Thanks for me this time, and uh, goodbye.